today we have Bhavesh Singh to secure an All India rank of 1 to 8 in the GATE 2022 examinations. So, heartiest congratulations, Bhavesh, for securing such a beautiful rank. And today we will be learning about his journey through his own words. So, my first question to you is what motivated you to start prepping for GATE? So, actually, I was working as a functional guy for uh, two years and I decided to pursue higher education. So I had two options either to go for MS or MTech. Earlier I was inclined towards MS because uh, gate is very demanding uh, it's a part of uh, giving I this IDJ medical exam and it's hard time work. and Bhavish Yadav uh, is my friend, he's a very good friend of mine and he was in the PhDC. So he was with me and after uh, having his job for one year, he left his job and prepared for it with RSV only and he got a rank of 168 and got an ID moment. So that was the turning point like uh, I thought that I can also do it. So I consulted him and he guided me very really well. So I uh, left my job over the year around 2019 and then I prepared and uh, but I could not secure very good rank. It was around 4,000. And then I knew that uh, I have not given my best, I did not give any other exams. And I told my mom and dad I want to give one more chance to get. And they were very supportive and I'm very blessed for that. Like at this age, after like 26 years, uh, that the supporter and so I went ahead and I did not even inform RSV that I just took admission directly. So when I took admission and I was uh, there in the class, he was uh, saying that you directly took admission, you're not even consulted me. But it was okay, I was uh, fine with it. And then after that, I knew what was the mistake I have done in my previous attempt. I have not given test enough test at all, and I did not follow him. So that was all. after that, uh, I realized that I started giving my test from April onwards. Whatever he said, I followed it. Even 60 to 70 percent, I was like, not following completely. It's very tough to follow. So 60 to 70 percent was more than sufficient, I guess. And that's what. So since you are a working professional and your background is from EHTC, so what was your strategy for me? So the strategy was like I knew I don't know anything about CS. So the very first person I would directly call was Bhavesh. Because he is himself is from electronics and I know what he has gone through throughout his journey. So I knew there is someone who can guide you from electronics perspective, like what he did. How he, uh, what was his approach towards the subject and all, how did he prepare? So I completely I knew that uh, he guided me, so I just followed him. Any advice, uh, if I required any advice at any time, I would call him directly. Mm -hmm. So, what were the challenges which you faced while preparing? So preparation challenges uh, like starting everything from scratch. Like when you do a job, you go into your comfort zone and you have to get out of it. So, yeah, that is a bit challenging. But after two years, I realized that I have to study. So initially, I started with you know, studying random things, whatever I like, for one or two hours along with my job. And then I told my manager that I'll be doing the wrong thing that I'm going to pursue higher education. And he was very supportive. And like, uh, it's very rare to find managers like uh, that in uh, IT industries. So he was also very supportive. Really, uh, and along with that, so what I did was, uh, before taking admission into GATE, I went through some of the videos which are available on YouTube and all the platforms. So I could connect like what they are saying, I could understand. So I knew that I will be able to do it. It won't be that hard. Okay, so as you said that you are a working professional, so there has to be a shift and some sort of decision making that you have to leave your job, then from that uh, professional background to back, you know, back to GATE academy. So how is that? How you dealt with all that mental pressure and... Yeah, like, uh, uh, company was good, like I was working in Iraq and the salary was also very decent. Uh, and uh, it was a time like, uh, even if I could have switched, uh, my pay would have been very good. So, and my uh, peers also so who are working there are earning good. So, yeah, if you are thinking in that direction, like, yes, but I had a broader uh, perspective in mind, like, I wanted to study. Uh, getting into IIT was my dream. I have uh, given earlier. I have said that uh, I have given. Uh, I did not mention. I also took a drop after 12. Uh, I went to Kota. I prepared, but I could not clear that. Then again in my third year, uh, 
uh, I attempted uh, this. I enrolled in the uh, Institute for Gate itself, but that was for electronics. Mm -hmm. So I have done my data from electronics. Mm -hmm. So I was uh, thinking of doing MTech in electronics also at that point of time. But uh, this, uh, after one year, uh, I started enrolled in coding in that institute. I prepared uh, religiously for like one year, but then fourth year placement came. And uh, so everyone was crazy to make placement in my So I also went there with it and stopped preparing. And after I landed a job in Oracle, I completely stopped. So I was like, uh, I got a good job now, I can study more. So I left it. And I went for the exam, I did not even look uh, at my score work and everything. But after uh, one year itself, like, I was preparing for IIT. And everyone in my friend circle, like, they were preparing for higher education. Some were going for IIMS mm -hmm. and some went for MS. So, like, I was like, uh, I also have to do something like the form of your this and your thing. So that actually encouraged me. So when your parents is that you should choose your friend circle very wisely, like mm -hmm. it actually went for me. So if it, it wouldn't have been for them, like uh, I would still be doing a job in IT sector. Okay, so as you uh, mentioned earlier that you solved a lot of PYQs and test series. Yes. So what was the shift in your mentality that so why you're giving a normal test series and why you're attending the real exam? See, uh, if you are giving a lot of uh, mock tests, full length tests, uh, it starts from November, December, and all that. So, the real gate test, the pressure will be more because uh, there you can rectify your mistake, you can learn from them, and again you can do a mock test. But if the gate comes one year, you go forward there and it's gone. So, all the mistakes which were there, so the silly silly mistakes, see, something uh, which is completely new, it will be new for most of the people, or mm -hmm. it will be new. To me, I mean, concept is new. You can't do anything on the exam that way. But you have to avoid all the silly mistakes which you can avoid. That costed me a lot in my first attempt also. I could have easily scored around 50 marks. I ended up scoring 40 marks. So I knew that uh, the first thing I need to avoid is silly mistakes and I focus a lot on them. Did not have anything in the record, but I used to uh, keep like whatever the most silly mistakes like doing false things, mm -hmm. asking for false amount of proof. And it's a MSQ thing, all those things. So numericals tell what digits the answer is asked. So after you give a lot of mock tests, so it becomes a habit. So that's the main point uh, which I will emphasize on. Like even too many of the mock tests, it's like a good practice for it. Okay. So after going through all of this and after getting such a sweet taste of success, what do you think, you know, how has it changed your life? It has changed my life in the next number of ways. Uh, I did not believe in myself for so long in my first attempt that I could be a man. So, Bhavesh had faith in me. He was there with me for two years. He knew what I am capable of. And then Rajesh sir was with me. He said that I can do it. So, yes, uh, it has given me a lot of confidence, I'd say. And uh, apart from that, I'm looking forward to this journey, getting into IIT and carrying forward this. So what advice would you like to give to other aspirants? See, I'll say that uh, just follow RSV sir, whatever he says. Even if you are able to do 50, 60, 70% of it, it's more than sufficient. Do all the PYQs and complete there. Do the revision properly. First attempt, my revision was not proper, first of all. And test series, I can't emphasize enough on test series, just give them. It does not depend whether you are getting zero or negative one, learn from that and improve from that. It's basically you are improving. That mistake should not be committed in your grade exam. That was a very, very motivational interview and I had a lot of fun interviewing you and asking you questions, learning about your journey. Thank you very much for your values and time and I wish you all the best for all your future ambitions. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh,